always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Well, another day we are trekking that smoky haze, some patchy fog in the area this morning as well from Grand Rapids to Kalamazoo. And even though conditions will be a little improved compared to yesterday, we still will be able to smell and see the evidence of that smoke filling our skies as we head through the day today. And it looks like we'll be featuring improving conditions over the next several hours. And then late tonight into early tomorrow morning, you'll actually see that plume of smoke returning from the south as it's basically trapped in the atmosphere here in the region. So improving conditions again later tomorrow night into the later part, the early part of the day Friday. Now we've got some patchy fog out there this morning, visibility down to an eighth of a mile from cold water over toward Three Rivers and Sturgis, three quarter of a mile visibility in Battle Creek, and then along the lake shore, we've got some pockets where the visibility drops below a mile. Overall, we will be looking at dry conditions today, starting out with temperatures in the 40s and 50s this morning. We made it only into the mid 70s yesterday, that smoke blocking the the power of the late June sunshine from really warming us up too much. So it was a little on the cooler side during the afternoon yesterday. Today, the smoky haze will continue, not quite as pronounced as yesterday. Chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm late tonight into early tomorrow morning, and again, late tomorrow night into early Friday morning. The best chance of widespread showers and storms unfortunately will arrive on Saturday, but much of the holiday weekend is actually looking dry. So you see a few rain chances early tomorrow, and then again, early Friday morning. Better chance of those widespread showers and storms on uh, Saturday. And then we're back to dry conditions for Sunday and Monday. And by late Tuesday and Wednesday, we could see another round of active weather building in. Low 80s for highs today, mid 80s tomorrow. Some areas will top out near 90 by Friday. And again, the atmosphere becoming much more active over the next several days, which basically means we'll have several dry hours each day, but then we'll have these clusters of showers and storms at times that'll work through as well. And temperatures will make it well into the 80s over the next several days. In fact, high temps a couple of days in the eight-day forecast will make it run at 90 degrees, including Tuesday, which is the 4th of July. A lot of communities are having those fireworks displays uh, Saturday night or Sunday night because of the timing of the holiday weekend. But those that are taking place on Tuesday could be dealing with some natural fireworks as well. We'll keep an eye on it for you. Tom, how are drivers doing? Right now, things are looking pretty good out there across area roadways as we kick off this Wednesday morning commute. Taking a look right now at the freeways heading into and around the downtown Grand Rapids area. If you are getting ready to head out the door, uh, no major problems right now, and we do remain crash-free across area freeways. Uh, we do have one crash out there right now in the Walker area along Walker Avenue right there near the Four Mile Road interchange. So far, though, not picking up a significant delay in the area, but I'll keep watching that for you and let you know if it does become problematic. Here you go. Here's a live look. The S-curve heading into and out of downtown Grand Rapids. Right now, we have light traffic out there. I'll have another update for you coming We're up exciting. in about 15 minutes. Teresa and Donovan.